Greetings fishing enthusiasts and gamers all around. We are here with a new map. This is the Florida map and I happen to be, let me check just to make sure. This is one of the pegs called the Floating Thickets. Now there are three different pegs on this particular map. The first one is at the little, called the Lily Pad Channel. Then the Floating Thickets then infinity tunnels. Now the reason we're here is of course we're fishing for the albino ghost gar. Now this happens to be another peg and that's not the one I wanted. To <laughs> Clicked on the wrong one. There we go. This is it and I've already tried fishing here a little bit and it's not real hard to catch the butterfly peacock bass right over there well, just like Delacaba had said in one of his videos I caught two of them pretty easily with uh, spinnerbait so I'll probably try some different things later on but for right now our main interest is getting this albino ghost gar that I keep hearing about this is supposed to be the largest of the gar in this particular Halloween special so we're gonna see if we can't land a couple of them now, I don't really know where these guys are. I'm just going to try here because there's a deep spot over here that I believe the bull cats are located. So I'm kind of hoping they might be around there as well. So let me take my drag down a little bit. And we're going to cast this thing out. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I have a new pole here, guys. This is one of those Halloween poles. I did go ahead and purchase that because I just kind of like them. Plus, I was able to get a stringer that could actually hold these big old guys. That includes anything up to 66 pounds, I believe. So, I will have no problem keeping any flathead catfish. So, anyway, guys, I guess we just sit here and wait and see what happens. Alright guys, I'm going to change my hook. I was just noticing that it was only a one aught, And I have a feeling that we're going to need something a little bit bigger than that. We're going to try a two, maybe a three aught, Because these are some big fish. And I had caught the vampire gar on that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use the minnows. Because I've had some more, had more luck with the minnows in the past. Alright, let's see here. Let's get this thing out there. It still seems kind of light to me. Alright, I'm going to pull it in right about there. That looks like a good spot. We'll see if any luck happens here. If not, we'll find, soon, find out soon enough. Alright, I'm getting a bite. I am getting a bite. Didn't take too long. Come on, man. I want to see this guy. He's supposed to be the grandpapa of these big gar. Come on. Seriously, you're not going to give up that easily? Okay, he's back again. He quit and now he's he's trying. Come on. You can do better than that. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to put a little more tension on that. Yeah, we got him guys, we got him. He's he's ours. Come on. Come on, fish. Oh, boy, he's a strong one. He is a strong fish. Come on. Okay, come on, fish. He is no baby, that's for sure. He is just pulling this out like it's nothing. Oh, cool, the moon's coming up. Oh, wow, come on. 
come on. He's just taking it out past 100 feet now. Here. Yep. 100 feet. Well, I've got 492 feet of line to work with, so I'm not really concerned. Come on. Come on. Alright. He's going to give me some trouble here. Play him, play him. Oh, God, he's strong. He's going to make a run for it. He's got it out in the one T. Pass almost 120. F okay, we're going to have to do something to muscle him in a little bit. But we got to be careful. So I'm going to have to keep my finger hovered over that. As, as you can see, my reel is feeling the pressure already. Oh wow, he is taking it out even further. Uh -oh. This fish isn't even close to tired yet. Okay, we're getting it in now. God. Well, if I can pull a flathead and I can put it pull this guy in a trophy flathead, surely. Not budging. Okay, we're in the 150s now. He's starting to weaken finally. Well, okay, okay. Oh, he escaped. God bless it. That is one tough fish. Okay, this is not going to be easy, guys. It's not going to be easy at all. I think I might try the other pole that I have. This one... Let me check it real quick here. I'm brand new at this, so I'm not... Not fished for this type of fish this size, that's for sure. We just gotta try it again. That's all we can do. Well, we do know where they are, that's for sure. I have not lost a fish in a long time. Something is interested. Come on. He's trying to decide. Just testing the waters. Come on. Alright. Thought I'd give a little bit of a twitch there, keep his interest up. There we go. 
cows. Okay, we are, cannot let that tension get too low, guys. This may have to be a long fight. That's just all there is to it. These guys are just that big and that strong. But we gotta keep the tension high. Not too high. That's all we need to do is break our reel. He's a bruiser, that's for sure. Boy, he keeps making runs. Taken off in little bursts. Come on, fish. Boy, I thought Channel Catfish fought hard. Whew. I mean, flatheads. Okay, we're actually down below a hundred now. He's starting to tire. Doesn't mean he won't make one more burst when we get him close to shore. They seem to have that habit. At least his cousins do. Better be prepared for his last hurrah right before he gets in here. We got him. We got him. There he is. There he is. 41.74 pounds. 192 XP. 57.925 inches. That is a big fish. No doubt about it. One big fish. Good God, his pectoral fins are bigger than my forearm on this 
Good lord. Alright, we're gonna keep him. And I got the achievement of Ghost Summoner 1. Catch a certain number of albino ghost scars and $300 in credits. Perfect. Alright, I think we have proven we can do it. We may have lost the first one, but we definitely made up for it. Anyway guys, I'm going to keep fishing here and see how many of these guys I can catch. And I will see you guys later. And I hope you enjoyed it. And please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. So for now, bye-bye.